Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now this time I'm doing something a bit different. It's not the MSVA build series. I actually got an email from a bike company called Van Powers asking me to do a review of one of their electric bikes, electric kind of commuter hybrid pedal assist bike. And after a bit of going back and forth, I said yes. Um, so they sent it over and it arrived about a week later and I'm gonna do a few videos for them um, about reviewing it. Um, it's all open, I can say what I like. Um, now the thing that makes this bike special is that it's actually got a modular frame. So the frame comes in different sections and it actually bolts together either in the factory or when you get it. This A saves you on shipping, which is quite neat. Um, and also if you damage one part, you can just replace that part of the frame. So it'd be interesting to see how easy it is to put together and also how strong it is. Now Van Powers have very kindly sent the bike out free of charge, uh, but obviously I'm doing this kind of review series in return, so we're helping each other out. And there is an affiliate link in the description if you're interested and would like to buy one, you can do it through that. So without further ado, let's get on to unboxing it. Okay, so here is the box that it came in. It's pretty big, um, it's quite heavy. Um, I'll put the weight on the screen of what it actually weighs. But yeah, let's get started by unboxing it. So first off, we've got these um, plastic straps, which just keep it nice and together for shipping. And then staples, which is nice to see as well, so you know it's not gonna come apart. exactly the same. So there's an arrow pointing that way and a handle. So I would assume that means you open this flap and then pull the handle up. So give that a try. So I'm not quite sure if that's the way it's meant to be done. Some of it ripped uh, when taking it off. So. It almost feels like it wants the whole thing to come out of this shipping box, but it's kind of too heavy to do, certainly one-handed. So anyway, now we're in. We'll see, these are the wheels for the bike. Um, I'm guessing these will be the electronics. Let's get all the bits unpacked and see exactly what comes in the box. The first foam bundle had a picture of the finished bike and a note on the back of it to say it passed all the relevant quality checks, which was reassuring to see. Um, I could see the frame itself had a nice chrome finish and bolts together in certain places as I said as well as having hydraulic disc brakes. A nice touch was the velcro straps which were used to hold the foam parts together and I'll definitely be repurposing those. And here we have a first glimpse of a bike part which is the crank. Next to come out was the rechargeable front light and then the bottom bracket in a separate box. The non-drive side crank was actually already attached and the different mounting parts for the other frame elements can be seen here as well. Ooh, and a bolt to put it on, don't forget that. <laughs> there were more frame parts inside the next package including the headset with the charge port which was nice and waterproofed and a cable tie holding the bearings in which was another nice detail. There was also the seat tube holder, down tube which has the battery built in and the handlebars with display built in as well. The grips here are actually almost identical to the ones I'm using on my MSVA bike, so it should be more than suitable for this. You've got the lock-on grips and the rubber section in the middle. When unboxing, all the parts here felt very solid and definitely had some good weight to them, so feeling pretty hopeful. After that was um, me being clumsy. Yeah, it's a bit that fell out, don't forget that. Really good to see all the packaging that they're putting in here, kind of in between the wheels and down the side. Very compact space, so it's good that they've kind of kept everything together, nothing's gonna break or move around in shipping. And then the saddle with springs in it which will hopefully compensate for the lack of suspension on the frame. The top tube with the rear brake hose rooted through so no need to bleed this which I wouldn't expect but it's good to see. The front wheel which is a 700c by 28 which is a standard size and also comes with a 180mm rotor and through axle mount. It looks like it's a double walled rim um, from the depth of the sidewall and also has a Presta valve for the inner tube which is pretty common on these hybrid bikes. Very nice sturdy protector on that brake disc, obviously you don't want that getting warped and shipping. I mean look at the thickness of that, really don't want that breaking. <laughs> After that was the business end of things with the hub motor which has another 180mm rotor separate motor power and phase cables rather than a single connector which is interesting and also the sprocket for the belt drive comes pre-attached. 
inside the accessory box with some basic tools which I'll try and use just to see how it's like putting the bike together just using what the manufacturer provides followed by the pedals charger reflector and a white box that I couldn't work out what it was but I'm sure we'll find out soon the final phone box had the carbon drive belt front forks with the brake caliper already attached and the seat post um, we now have an empty box. All the parts are laid out the floor. I've had a look through the instruction manual. It's really good actually. Um, you've got these first few pages which show you focus, um, kind of all the parts list um, and which box are meant to come in. Um, and all the parts for the frame are actually numbered. Focus. Um, and the numbers on here correspond with stickers on the actual frame. Um, which I can foresee being a little bit of a pain when you have to like put it together and then remove the stickers but it does help massively for assembly just being able to match up the parts I mean maybe if they put them on kind of this section or inside where you then wouldn't later see it but I really like the idea of having numbered stickers on the parts so for the bits for the actual frame you've got the forks um, which are solid. Um, I think most of this is cast aluminium. Um, I'll test it with a magnet in just a moment. And then you've got, these are the rear dropouts. Um, so the wheel will go in there and then you can adjust the wheel spacing and belt tension with that. And yes, this is belt drive. Um, you get a carbon belt with it. Um, which goes around the front chainring, which is this part, which is very nice and light. Uh, it does actually say forged on it. You can hopefully just about read that. Um, and then that will go around the rear sprocket of the wheel as well. The battery doubles up as the down tube. That feels very sturdy, um, definitely a structural part. And then the top tube, I believe, is this part here, which has the rear brake already rooted through it, so you don't need to do any bleeding or anything like that. Um, these are part of the rear as well. Uh, I think these go from the bottom bracket to the dropouts. Um, you've then got the seat post part, um, the head tube with nice bearings already pressed in. That's one less job to do, which can be quite fiddly. I know that from experience of the e-bike that getting those bearings in centrally, especially when you have to put the cups in, is not easy. So that's nice that they've done that for you. Um, and also pre-put pre, pre put the bolts in. Um, the hex bolts, the nuts actually have like a um, recess that's kind of hexagonally shaped. Um, so that helps keep them in, makes it easier to tighten down. And on the note of tightening down, the tools they provide, you get this little board here. Uh, with a nice set of allen keys um, some of the essential bolts you'll need um, actually said you get a couple of spares as well which is a nice touch um, inside that little box was actually a really weird bell um, be interesting to see how well that works uh, a couple of bolts for the frame and a generic charger this one is 42 volts and 2 amps and interestingly I happen to have another pretty much identical one 40 volt 2 amps um, just with a different connector on the end um, so yeah these are generic chargers but just with a different connector um, nothing wrong with that I'm sure it's a perfectly good charger and also I forgot to mention you get a kickstand with it as well um, which looks like it can be adjusted at the bottom and then this is a supposedly a wire guide that goes on the frame somewhere the corners are pretty sharp. It's come off some kind of 45 degree cut. So just be careful of that if you get one. Um, but I'm sure that will help clean up the aesthetics of the bike. And then finally you get instruction manuals for the kind of outsourced parts. So you get one for the light, um, which is this part here. It's kind of one button operation. Fairly, fairly effective. It's interesting that it kind of has like a headline pattern beam like on traditional headlights like the one I've got an e-bike so that should be nice and effective you get a charger and a clamp for that as well and then you get a manual for the brakes this kind of generic maintenance um, one for the display on the handlebars 
and one for the belt drive about kind of what not to do when putting it in basically um, and one for the charger as well and there are some of the frame dimensions if you're into that kind of thing if you want to have a quick look and on that note i think that would be a good place to stop off we've given everything a good look over done the unboxing and inspected everything so the next video will be of course putting it together and then a test ride after that to see how it performs in the real world I hope you've enjoyed the video. Go check out Van Pals in the link below. They've got a whole other range of bikes and fat bikes and other commuters. And I'll see you in the next video.